Are you curious what the cost of living is in Lincoln, California? Well, stay tuned, you're about to find out right now. Lincoln, California has a population of about 50,000 and is about 25 to 30 minutes outside of Sacramento. And I have to say, it was the fastest growing city between 2000 and 2010 uh, because it was more of a rural town. As they started building, we have a lot of homes built between 2000 and now. So a lot of newer homes, it is a growing area, and it's an amazing place to raise a family. Hi, my name is Brandon Leon, a local Sacramento area realtor, and I'm gonna go over everything in this video from uh, the utility costs to housing costs to what the community is actually like. Make sure to stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna give you an in-depth look of how much bang you can get for your buck. So everything from 400,000 all the way up to 1.2 million, I'm gonna show you what you can get right now in this real estate market. All right, so for electric, we have PG&E. Now for your electricity, I checked in with a client and they have a house about 1,700 square foot in Lincoln and their bill is about $125 to $225 each month, depending on the time of the year. Now, another good thing in Lincoln is their water, sewage, and garbage, they are all in one through the city of Lincoln, which is pretty amazing. Now, with water, it depends on if your meter is three quarter inch or one inch. So three quarter inch would be $17 a month, one inch would be $29 a month. Sewer is gonna be a flat fee of $32 a month, and solid waste will be $26 a bin. So sometimes people will have multiple bins, uh, but my clients, uh, all of their utilities for this last month were about $227. Right now in Lincoln, California, average rent for a two bedroom apartment is about $1,900 to $2,000. Now, not everyone's looking for an apartment. If you're looking to rent a three or four bedroom home, you're looking at about $2,200 to $3,200 uh, for rent right now of a home in Lincoln, California. Let's talk property taxes. So property taxes in the state of California are 1%. <clears throat> now in Lincoln, there are a few areas like Lincoln Crossing. Check out my video at the end where I talk about that area that has a very, very high Melarus. So you need to know that before you're out looking at homes. But a Melarus is gonna be an extra bond that is assessed for uh, infrastructure of the area. Everything from the, the city lights to fire stations to all the infrastructure as they're building a new community. So an average property tax here in Lincoln, California is gonna be about 1.25%. Now, check with your real estate professional before writing an offer so you know how much your Melrose is. Sales tax in Lincoln, California is 8.75%, a little bit less than the Bay. The Bay Area in San Francisco is about 9%. Income taxes for families in Lincoln, California, they're gonna range anywhere, like anywhere nationally, 1% to 13%. But in our area, it, there are a lot of variables. I'm not a tax professional, check with your tax professional, but they're gonna range from about eight to 13%. As far as jobs in the area, you have government jobs, people over in Sacramento, you have healthcare, you have technology, you have places like Amazon. There are lots of good options for jobs out here, but there are also a lot of people working remotely now. The median home price right now in Lincoln, California is $697,000. Now keep in mind, this is median. So they're taking the lower price homes and all the million dollar homes, and they're kind of putting that together. So you're gonna have a wide range, but that is the median right now. All right, now it's time for me to go head over to my computer and I'm gonna walk you through what the house prices are like right now in Lincoln, California, about every 100,000. Now these are houses that have sold recently, so excited to share with you so you can see how far your money will go in Lincoln, California. We're gonna start around the 400,000 range and we're gonna go up to about 1.2 million. Let's get going. Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Leon. I am your Sacramento area realtor. Uh, happy to be here with you. I get asked the question all the time, how much does my money get me? You know, you're moving from out of town or you're curious about the area. You know, what are the houses like at 500,000, at 600,000, at 750? So I took it upon myself to take some sales that have closed in the past month or so. And what I'd like to do is just walk you through, you know, how far your money goes. So I'm gonna go every 100,000 or so and <clears throat> all the way up to over a million here in Lincoln, California, to give you an idea of, of what you can purchase in today's real estate market. So everything will be timestamped, so uh, you'll be able to kind of figure out <clears throat> what type of house works for you. You can go straight to it. But let me get into it. Uh, we're starting under 500000 Now, there, there will be some condos or townhomes, some of them will, that will be under 400000 um, or some really older houses, um, not uh, very likely in this market we're in right now, so we're going to start 500 and under. 
<clears throat> so first thing, uh, first house we're going to go to is 581 Q Street. Now this is a three bedroom, two bath, 1148 square feet. Uh, now, you know, the older homes you're going to see Lincoln consists of, it used to be a, a farm town, would be considered a farm town. They really started building in 2000. So from 2000 to 2010, Lincoln was the fastest growing city in the United States. Uh, and so now looking at it, you know, you have some houses that are built in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, but a majority of Lincoln really is 2000 and newer. This is one of the uh, older areas. Uh, in Lincoln. This is on Q Street. So you know whenever you're in a city, if it's number or letter, it's usually been there for a bit. So as we look over to Q Street, I'm just going to take you on the map to show you Lincoln overall, just to give you an idea. So as you can see, you have houses and a lot of open land because there are some farm properties. There definitely is acreage out there. It's uh, a little flatter, so it doesn't have as much topography and hills as like, uh, let's say, Auburn. But uh, there are there is, are some farms out there in acres. So as we look at Lincoln as a whole, uh, right south of Lincoln is going to be the city of Rockland, right over here. So uh, what Lincoln is famous for, not just the farms, but Thunder Valley Casino is also uh, in Lincoln as well. And that will be right down here. So uh, Highway 65 runs right through Lincoln. Now on Q Street, you can see we're in the heart of Lincoln right here. Uh, so you have um, some older homes here, and then they start to work their way up, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, to get to here. Now, the good thing about Q Street, it's Joiner Park is right down the street. Uh, I do videos all the time about the community, so schools, parks, restaurants, things like that. So if you want to see what Joiner Park looks like, check out uh, check out our video we did on Joiner Park. Lincoln High School, close walk away. There also is a, a 12 Bridges High School that was just built on the other side of Lincoln. So let's get into the actual house now as we go back. So Q Street, like I said, three bedroom, two bath. You have the, the overhead or drone view. This house has some upgrades. So tile, they got the backsplash, granite countertops. So you can see that there's been some some things that they've done to the house, which is nice. Uh, um, plantation shutters in places, that's the master bathroom. So I'm breezing through these pictures just to give you an idea of you know price and quality. Most houses are gonna have a concrete slab. Some of the older ones may be a raised foundation. As you could see, some steps up there to the fence. So uh, a, a nice, simple backyard, very private. There is some RV access, which is one of the highlights of this one. But this house on Q Street, was listed for 449 and it sold for 480. So you had multiple offers. There were six offers on this property. Now I'm going to go through each of them and kind of tell you some positives and negatives of each property. Now these houses have all sold. So uh, so this is just to give you guys an idea. But uh, looking at it, these older communities or these older uh, houses in this area, they have no HOA and they're going to have low to no mellow roofs. So mellow roofs is that extra tax. So the taxes will be a lot uh, cheaper here. Um, but just looking at that, that's kind of our first house. That was at 480. Okay. So now let's go back here and let's check out the next house. So the next house we have D Street in Lincoln. So this is right across from McBean Park. So let me kind of give you an idea. Now this is 1434 square feet, three bedroom, two bath, built in 2001. So a little bit newer, but just to give you an idea of where this is, it's right across. So McBean Park is a very classic park in Lincoln. They have uh, they have everything from a uh, pool to uh, basketball courts. Uh, they have uh, the Potter Stadium, which they have uh, baseball teams play there. Um, uh, and so it, it huge grass area. It's a very classic park. So there is a lot of traffic, right? Uh, not only that, and this is why, guys. I mean, I, I'm here to educate you and help help you figure out, you know, what the best area is for you. This is this is a great area. Uh, what there are a lot of older homes, so you are going to have some rentals here. And what most people don't know is this particular. I'm not going to name any names, but this particular street does have some traffic because it goes right on the park. And I actually sold a house on this street several years back. And what I do know about this street specifically, there was a lot of foot traffic. And there was a house that was um, that was having issues as far as just having people there every day in the front yard. And uh, there might have been some other stuff going on. Who knows? But 
the house that I sold to my clients, they quickly actually sold at, you know, very quickly after that because they couldn't handle all the traffic and, you know, they had young kids and all that thing. So just because you see a house and you're hearing all the time that houses are selling for $50,000 over list price, there's always a story behind every house. So not everything is selling like that. Some are. Um, but this one, this, this particular house uh, close by had a house that had a lot of traffic and I'm that's probably why it was listed at 549 and then sold for 545 so it actually sold under the list price which isn't very common but uh, but as we look at these pictures <clears throat> it's a got nice curb appeal has a nice uh, covered patio in the front as you look at the house, it has a nice open living space. The kitchen's pretty simple. Tile was pretty, a tile countertop was pretty normal for this time. Uh, but clean house, not tons of upgrades of what you would see in, in some of the newer homes. But still, you know, in pretty good shape. Had a little eatery there. Smaller bedrooms, which you're, you're going to see in a lot of houses built around this time. And it does, uh, it did, does have a uh, dual pane windows, vinyl dual pane windows, some, there were a few metal ones, but decent backyard, of course, right across from the park, which is nice. So uh, that is D Street. Let's head to the next property. So now we're going to go over <clears throat> that 600,000 mark. Okay. We are at Ta Tarabella Drive, four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,248 square feet, built in 2006. So let's check out these pictures. But before that, <clears throat> let's see. All right, so Terabella. So just to give you a Lincoln overview, okay? This is where all the main shopping is, Sprouts, Target, Home Depot, uh, Lowe's. They got Rayleigh's, they got Safeway. There's everything you could possibly need, even in and out right here, um, main part of Lincoln here. So this is all kind of a, a, a newer, newer part of Lincoln. So you have something called Lincoln Crossing, okay, right here. Uh, Terrabella is just north of Lincoln Crossing. Now, Lincoln Crossing is known for, I don't think I have any homes here, and this is why I'm talking about this. Uh, if you're considering moving to Lincoln, you need to know this. Lincoln Crossing has affordable homes, right? They're, they're affordable. But they have a very expensive, what's called Melarus. It's an extra tax assessed with the property taxes. Uh, and when they were building this large area of Lincoln Crossing, they were wanting to put in infrastructure, right? Everything from street lights to uh, fire stations to all that stuff so they have this extra tax which can be about two or three hundred dollars on top of your payment each month so it's a great area don't get me wrong it also has HOA HOA is very inexpensive and it uh, what's great about the HOA is it has this beautiful clubhouse indoor outdoor pool workout facility like it's it's nice but just know that when you see houses in Lincoln Crossing typically most of them will have a high miller roost, they will have HOA, so they have specific rules. So that's just something to keep in mind. This area is right outside of Lincoln Crossing, so it doesn't have those uh, right along Highway 65. So I hope that helps for your uh, your process there. All right, let's go back to the pictures. So we're here at Terabella. Uh, most houses around here, stucco construction, tile roofs. You can see the older houses have composition shingle. Tile roofs are going to last you 30 to 50 years. Uh, this this floor plan is nice, bright, open. Uh, you have the open staircase. Uh, we actually sold this exact same model match uh, recently, and this is a highly desired floor plan in the area. But you have this kind of long uh, living, dining, or family dining combo, and you could tell they did some upgrades as far as the flooring and the lighting. Uh, this house specifically you know, looks staged, of course, but um, nice, bright, open layout, um, has a pantry. So this gives you an idea. And this house on Terrabella was listed at 625,000. It sold for uh, 651,000. So seven offers on this one. As you can see, it's clean. It's move-in ready. You have an open living room area. So there's a lot of good stuff here. So just let me actually go to the backyard and kind of give you an idea. So good sized backyards here in Lincoln that you're not going to find. Like if you're looking at it for a brand new home, you can find stuff in this price range, but the backyard is going to be about this size. I mean, it's very, very small. So that just gives you an idea. All right, let's move up into the $700,000 range. This is listed at $699,900, sold for $710,000. 
So this is almost 2,500 square feet, right? Built in 2020. Now this is built by uh, K. Hobnanian, a local uh, a builder here in the area. Now this this did only have one offer, right? It 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 sold. Oh, whoops! I moved forward too much. Uh, this one did sell for uh, ten thousand dollars over, but just had one offer. So let's actually go to paper mill. There we go. All right. So just to give you an idea of where this is, so we talked about Lincoln Crossing. Lincoln Crossing is right over here. This area is kind of tucked back over here. Twelve Bridges. So Twelve Bridges is one of the most highly desired areas right now. They are building a lot of new homes out here, so you are going to find stuff, you know, in the six hundred to eight hundred thousand dollar range. If you're at all curious about what new homes look like, you can check out our website, Sacramento New New Home Guide dot com. Sacramento New Home Guide new home guide.com where we're going to actually uh, walk you through give you tours let you know uh, how far your money goes and you can get more community information and figure out how to get the best deal on a new home but uh, they are building several things here so this right here this is part of rockland so this is the line here and now we're coming up to lincoln so 12 bridges has 12 bridges high school that was just built they have 12 bridges elementary and then over here, Catavadera, which is a really nice uh, golf club, a private golf club. Lincoln Hills Golf Club is part of the 55 and older uh, Dell Webb community. So you do have some of that as well. Let's get to the pictures. Aren't you excited about the pictures? That's what I want to see. All right. So let's get out of there. All right. So now we're at 609 Paper Mill. 710,000. This is what the newer homes are going to look a little more modern. This is probably their Spanish style. You can see a terracotta style, uh, you know, rounded tile roof. But, you know, as you come in, you have this long kind of shotgun layout, uh, long kitchen, plantation shutters, plenty of cabinet space. This actually looks a lot like my house as far as I have the same countertops and the same color. Uh, cabinets which is kind of funny so very similar so elegant kitchen nice and open for any family tile you have a carpet which you will find in some of the bedrooms so a lot of the houses around the size in this area will have a full shower or or a half shower with a soaking tub dual vanities and a walk-in closet it's pretty normal so as you can see good sized loft in this one which is uh, really nice for the kids to make it a playroom. So here is the downfall. It's like bum bum bum. You see the, the the lot size. So you have that California sunroom, which is kind of our version of just kind of an open covered patio and the backyard not completed because this is built just you know two, three years ago. So you have an amazing house, not as big yard. The good news is Lincoln has a lot of nice parks and areas for the kids to play. Uh, it's a very walkable area. So there you go. There you have it. Let's go back and let's move forward to <clears throat> our next home. This is Culpeper Lane, and this was uh, this is 3,233 square feet, built in 2007. And let's move forward and check out some pictures. So Culpeper is right here in the heart of 12 Bridges. So you can see Whitney Ranch Parkway. So this there's no through street here, right? So we have this area here. This is all uh, south of this is south of the where it says prominence underneath the house. That's all kind of open space that, that separates Rockland and Roseville. But this is a beautiful area tucked away uh, just to give you an idea of how far that is from the freeway. Not far at all. We're talking about six to eight minutes, uh, if that, from the freeway. Now, uh, let's check out the pictures. So Culpepper, good sized house stone veneer in the front little porch some grass in the back that is artificial turf the epoxy floor so they obviously worked in their garage looks like they had a nice wall set up maybe that was even for videos who knows uh, some houses of this age actually have a central vacuum system so as you can see they enclosed the den to give that was probably just a home office or a room formal dining room here so uh, this is a little more compartmentalized and you'll see the newer houses and that was the style back then in 2007. They had a few large rooms compartmentalized, a den, and, uh, and then they, it looks like they put up a wall and added that extra space there. So this is the living room, uh, which is connected to the kitchen. So a nice U-shaped kitchen there, pretty good size, cabinet space, everything you could possibly need. And let's head to the... The master. 
a master has kind of a nice little ensuite there and we already kind of saw the backyard size so uh, so that one you know as you head into this 800 plus range there's such a wide range of different types of houses older houses with huge yards and then you'll have some newer houses with small yards you'll have everything in between HOA no HOA but you can pretty much guarantee in that 800 to 900 thousand range you're going to see all kinds of houses you know 2,000 to 3,400 square feet all everything across the board. So there's going to be lots of options for you in that price range, pretty much anything that you want. Now we're going to head into that 900 to a million range. We're in a Beale Circle here. This is almost 4,000 square feet. So this was built in 2009. And uh, let's go ahead and see where Beale is. So this is the basically the north end of Lincoln. So almost as north as you can go. There's a Lincoln airport here, but it's a very small airport, private planes. There's a lot of new builds right over here in this area. Foskett Regional Park is super nice. Again, if you want to see this park uh, right next to Foskett Elementary, check it out. We did a, a very nice video where it shows you um, it has some amazing baseball diamonds. Uh, a great park, a walking trail, it's, it's really nice. So as we head here, uh, you can see also pretty close to the freeway, short drive there. Let's check out some pictures. All right, so we're here at Beale, so we have a nice three car garage here, tile roof, and a pool. Who doesn't want a pool? So this is, what's cool about this one is uh, this house was listed at 875 and it sold for 960. Seven offers. So what, what, what I'll say, the caveat to that is uh, when you're looking at houses, you have to know that there are some houses that, that have a lot of great features and there's some that kind of have everything. And this house kind of has everything. So those houses that are across from the park or with a view or with a pool and have good uh, square footage, those houses everyone wants. So as you can see, you know we're talking about a huge eighty-five thousand dollar bump on what the house is listed for compared to what it was sold for. But you know, built in two thousand nineteen and almost four thousand square feet, and uh, they have a nice little covered area, uh, almost courtyard like in the front. So you walk in, you have you know all the upgrades you can imagine uh, in this house, everything from the doors to the kitchen to the plantation shutters. Uh, not only does it have a pool, it has an own solar system. So as you get in that 800,000 plus, you're going to see own solar systems as well, which is uh, which is a, uh, a big help. Bed and bath downstairs, which is very sought after right now. So we this house is almost a quarter of an acre. So as you can see, nice open floor plan here, uh, which is stellar. And then as you even get to the rest of the house, there. Uh, there's everything you could possibly need. A bedroom downstairs that has outside access, which is always desired. Um, you have a whole nother living space here in that uh, loft area with kind of an offset room for uh, the kids to do their homework or what we call a distance learning area, which I think is funny. You'll see in new homes now, uh, a distance learning area set up. So master suite, double doors entering into that master suite. Like I said, soaking soaking tub, shower. So as we go to the extra bedrooms, let's check out the pool here. Good size yard, pool, covered patio. I mean, this is this is uh, this is pretty stellar for a family that uh, that wants to enjoy their yard. And so let's go to the last home. And uh, feel free, guys, to reach out with any questions you have about um, this area or this market. I'm here to help. Maybe you're just starting your home search and you're in this process where you're thinking, man, I don't know where to start. Uh, and, you know, we'd love to help, whether it's resale or new home. Uh, if you go to Sacramento New Home Guide, you can check out some of our new homes that we have. Uh, we have the tours. We have the information. Uh, we can also give you city tours. So there's a lot of things that our team offers uh, for people that are looking on um, buying in Lincoln or moving to the area and or selling. So uh, with all of our efforts of letting people know about the, the Lincoln community, we also have many buyers that are uh, looking in the area. So uh, we may have even have a buyer for your home. So we're here at this last house, 1.2 million. So this house uh, was listed at 1,000, uh, 1,175,000. It sold at 1.2, so 25,000 over. Uh, this is also almost a quarter of an acre, but uh, this house is near new, and this is a, a really nice street, Montana. 
uh, here in Lincoln. As you can see, more of a modern layout. Uh, nice, bright, and as open as a living room as you could possibly imagine. Um, so this was very common uh, when they were being built. Uh, this is very popular, very popular floor plan here. Uh, as big of a dining room area as you could need off the kitchen. That uh, covered patio area. Um, they even have a little uh, little area for a, a, like a fireplace, the pool. So you know, a um, million dollars in Lincoln is going to get you uh, this quality, or it's going to get you something with acreage that maybe has you know anywhere from an eighteen hundred to four thousand square foot house. So you know there are a few different variations. So. Uh, a lot of good stuff here that this house has to offer and uh, you know I really like how bright this layout is they really did a good job windows are all in the right space butler pantry got that bathroom downstairs here's the upstairs bathroom they even put in a little movie room as you can see which is pretty cool but uh, yeah this is uh, this is a very nice house in Lincoln as you can see that master bedroom so so you know as as we're closing the garage area, working on some cars. Uh, in closing, guys, you know, you're just getting your, your search started or you've been looking for a while. Our team is ready to help uh, help you find the right property. So feel free to uh, call me, text me with any questions or you'd like to plan a city tour or check out uh, our YouTube channel playlist, BLT's Best of Lincoln. That's Brandon Leon Team's Best of Lincoln. And we have uh, schools, parks, restaurants, all, all real estate stuff in there for you to uh, to get going on uh, your home search and check out Sacramento New Home Guide where you can find out more about how to get the best deal and be represented on a new home. So as you can see, there's a wide range of homes available all the way from 400,000 to 1.2 million. Thanks so much for checking that out. If you have any questions about the market, about what's going on, or you have a pre-approval amount and curious about where that's going to land you as far as homes, feel free to call me or text me, send me a direct message. Would love to hear from you. I'll answer any questions you have, or if you have any questions about the Lincoln community, go ahead and comment below. We'd love to answer that and we'd love to hear from you. If this was of any value to you, please subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified of any future videos and check out our playlist, BLT's Best of Lincoln. That's Brandon Leon Team's Best of Lincoln, where you see parks, restaurants, schools, real estate info that I update every single week. Uh, super happy to help with that. And if you're just starting your home search, maybe you're looking at new homes, we have a website, sacramentonewhomeguide.com. And what we're excited to do with this is give you all the tours, show you all the new homes in the community. We went ahead and did all that work for you so you don't have to, and we walk you through step-by-step step on how to buy a new home in Lincoln, California. My name is Brandon Leon. Thank you so much for watching this video and good luck on your home search.